Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up a safe throttle on your RadioMaster TX16S. Now safe throttle means that if your throttle is accidentally forward and you arm your motor on your fixed wing, the, uh, the throttle will not advance. It will only advance when you bring back the throttle stick for a certain amount of time. There's a, a, a half second setup so that if you accidentally tap it back and bring it forward it still won't arm. So anyway, let's switch over to Companion and then we'll go on to the radio and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, we're now in OpenTX Companion and we need to open up a backup. I'm going to my recents and that's my latest backup. And we're going to go to the aeroplane that I've already used to show you how to set up a basic uh, four channel plane. The first thing we need to do is go into curves. Now we're going to name this curve, I'm going to call it cut. And then I'm going to change the number of points to two. And we're just going to drag this down. This curve is so we would have a zero throttle. Now that's all we need to do in here. The next step is the logical switches. First one we need to set up is logical switch one. And this is going to be A is smaller than X. Now where A is the throttle. And we need to just go down and pick THR. There we go. And then the V2, which would then be X, is minus 98. So this means, in other words, the throttle is fully off. So minus 98. That's everything we need to put in on logical switch 1. Now we move on to logical switch 2, and this will be all. And then in V1, we have to select logical switch 1, which now will appear. We will be able to add logical switch 1. Then in V2, we are going to pick logical switch 2. That was right at the bottom. There we go. And then the switch is our arm switch, which in my case is switch F. And my quad is armed when the switch is forward. Then we want to set up a delay of 0.5. Now the delay, you'll see, I will demonstrate why we set up that delay. Now we need to move to inputs. We go to inputs. And now this necessitates putting a, another line in on the throttle. So we're going to go to the throttle and we're going to double click there. Now we need to edit this and change the, the th throttle settings. So all we have to do on the first line is to go to the switch here and change it to logical switch 0, 02. Okay, and that will be everything in here. We don't need to do anything else. Now we need to add another line. So we click once, right click, say lines, and then duplicate the line. Okay, then we go into the second one. Now in here, we need to change this. So it can still be called THR. We need to go down to the source. Okay, the source is the throttle, that's great. But now we need to go to the curve. Now in here, we need to change that to curve and then pick the curve that we set up, which is not the not one, but the this one, the active one. Then we go to the bottom and we must change the switch here to the not or the not uh, LO2. So that should be up here. Maybe I've gone the wrong way. Not LO2. And then we click OK. Now we should be good to go there. Now what I'm going to do is go into special functions. I'm going to add here my armed and disarmed sound. So let's go to my arm switch is SF all too far. This F forward is armed. So I'm going to say play track. Please, not please, play track. And then I'm going to pick up armed. 
armed. Okay, we can play that. Armed. And then we're going to go to SF back. We're going to play a track. And this time it's going to be disarmed. So we need to go down to D. Whoopsie daisy. Disarm. And we can check. Disarm motors. Now let's simulate the radio. If I click here. Reset. Disarm motors. And if I go. Armed. Disarm motors. So we've disarmed the motors. And we're going to click the model once and then we're going to click it again. And now we see our channels so that we can see there's the aileron channel. Channel 3 is our throttle. And you can see nothing's happening. Okay, because we're not armed. Now if we arm, we'll see the throttle will move. But let's say we put the throttle there. And then we arm. Nothing will happen. You see, nothing's happening. And if we go down quickly and back up, still nothing will happen. Go down quickly. So this is where the delay comes in. When I go down and hold it there for more than uh, half a second, go back up, the throttle would work again. And that is a safe throttle when you're not using a flight controller on your fixed wing plane. Now let me show you putting the settings in on your TX16S for a safe throttle. Now the first thing we need to do is hit the model button once. And then the first thing we're going to do is put the curve in. So we are going to page right until we get to curve. Now we're going to use curve one. We push enter. Now we can name this and we're going to call it cut. Cut. Excellent. Now we go down, we scroll down and we click enter on the count. We can just make that two. Now all we need to do is go over, just scroll over and then click enter and we can drag that point down to zero. Then we scroll over, enter and drag that point down by scrolling. And there we go. That's the settings we need. That's everything we need for the curve. So we can push return. Now let's move on to the logical switches. So we're going to put, push page right twice. And then on the logical switch one, we're going to push enter and push enter. And here we need to pick A is smaller than X. Then here we need to pick the throttle. Now this must be the throttle stick which is shows you like that there we go and then we want minus 98 and push enter now return and push enter now here we need to pick or and then in this line logical switch one i think i've gone to oh there we go logical switch one then this one logical switch two and then we need to pick our switch. Now this is when we're armed. So pull back, pull forward. And there we go. There is no minimum, but we do need a delay. And we're going to put 0.5 in there. Okay, now we can push enter. That's our logical switches set up. Now we're going to put in our inputs. We need to hit our page button left until we get to inputs. We're going to go down to the throttle push enter enter and we're just going to change the switch to logical switch l2 lo2 lo2 there we go now we can push enter and we go back now we need to copy that line and so we're going to go copy and then we're going to push the make sure that it's highlighted fully scroll down push enter now we need to go into the second line push enter and edit and we first need to go down to the curve. Now we're going to change that until it says CSTM, which is slightly different that you'll see in the companion. Then we go across and then we're going to pick CV1, which you see it's picked up our name cut. And then we need to change the switch to the not switch. So that means going back up and there you go, beg your pardon, LO2, and then we can push enter, enter. 
Now that's everything in the inputs. Now the last thing to do is to go and put the play track in. So we are going to go back to the special functions by hitting our page right button until we get to special functions. Then we're going to scroll down, we're going to push enter, we're going to push enter, then we're going to put in first armed. So I'm pulling my switch forward and then pushing it back. So that would be armed. Then we're going to click there, we're going to play track. Then we're going to click there and I'm going to find armed. Armed. And then push enter and we should be good. Okay, then we're going to go to the next line. Push enter, push enter, flick the switch back up, so that's disarmed. Go across, push enter, play track. Oops, too far. Play track, and then we're going to find disarmed. Oops, too far. Disarm. Okay, push enter. Now we should be able to go and disarmed. And that's everything we need to do. That's all the settings. Now let me demonstrate on the radio the safe throttle working. If we hit the model key once, you can now see our channels working. So if we, we are disarmed at the moment, so we can't, the throttle doesn't work. So if we have the throttle full down and arm, we'll be okay, we can fly. Now if we disarm, disarm motor. you'll see that the throttle drops. Now if we arm with the throttle up, nothing's gonna happen. You see, nothing at all. Even if you go down quickly and come back up, nothing will happen. Until we go down for half a second, come back up, and now we can fly again. And there we go, that's our safe throttle set up. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.